Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 How to Start Your Farm episode number 17 and today we are finally starting to prepare the ground for our farm we've got a load of trees to clear out so I have purchased some equipment the only thing I haven't bought is the Scorpion King I should have really but I just thought I'll lease that I've got a couple of trailers to get the kit down there and I bought this trailer and we've also got the man the TGX 640 horsepower we can link these two up together all these trailers link up together and we've also got the New Holland skid skid New Holland skid steer with the um, stump grinder on and I've also purchased a telehandler for staying at the shop so we've got any loading to do that's gonna stay there I was gonna use a forklift but we use telehandler for the time being now the plan is I've got the area around the farm I want to develop let's go on to the landscaper and then we can zoom over and see is this bit of land here I want to clear this land right out here that trees want to take that out you see I've leveled off quite a lot of that ground there now it looks pretty smart it's nice level it off a little bit more and then moving up this way I do want to improve the access down to here where I would like to as where I you see me drive the pickup I would like to put a road up through there to get up that way and then also a road up here because I keep driving down this way and it paid to put a road in there so I want to come in clear out all these trees and then move our way down take these that tree out and take most of these trees out now not all of these are done with the scorpion king so we'll just come in with the scorpion king clear out what we can with them and go from there so the first thing is let's get loaded up i've got a brand new pickup chrome wheels can't beat it we're in the money and still got at four and a half million in the bank the main thing is is generating that 628,000 a day now nothing's a problem anymore I'll tell you what we move that one out of the way in a minute I don't know why I got the tracks for I don't really need the tracks I think it's just because we got a bit of money and all of a sudden you think oh yeah let's use the tracks and if you're gentle you just push it down a little bit you can just bring it up on the back but you need something on the front however if you don't it does come down as a ramp anyway just center that up I'm not sure if this is gonna stay stay on but we shall see so that's the first one loaded and ideally now I'd like to get that logging trailer behind that one it might pay to just bring that out get that turning I can already see it's not sat on there perfect it's the front end 
and that side there is a little bit off that's a bit more like it nice that's two linked up so this is actually going to be my first road train here we are a couple of months in well i'm smashing that up against my brand new truck and it's my first road train so get out of the way now i need to put this pickup on the back and we also need to put this on this is I bought this for stump grinding and I'm not sure if I can load this straight on or not I will need something on the front though because it's just gonna Okay. I didn't mean to do that. I bet I couldn't do that if I tried any other time. Right, well that might need a bit of persuasion, eh? I've never put one on its arse like that before. This is why the Mana 2 is here. Any problems can be resolved straight away. If I just straighten that trailer up a bit. hopefully a little nudge oh, I've got it stuck now unbelievable try and do something so simple oh is it on there? yeah it might be on there but it just hasn't got the power to get up there I thought I might lifted it up, but no. Oh, come on now, that is just ridiculous. Now you're on there.
It's a shame it won't strap. Unless you put a bit of wood there. Right, the other thing, I've got a telehandler down what I'm using for the sheep. So if we put on the log grab, I can use that for that down there. We'll put this in the back of the pickup. Now we load the pickup. Whoa, 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 whoa. So that isn't in the centre then. Nearly lost it. Beautiful. So I think we've got everything we need to, well, make a start on the job. I've got to move that trailer hitch there, though. That's nowhere. It needs to be right the other way. Well, what are you doing? That's more like it. And why is that falling off? Right, so that's that back on. What a pain in the ass that was. Another little glitch. That was just because I'd lifted over the forklift, so it was like lifting the whole lot up to fall off. I bet this is screw up again. You wait, here we go. Should be able to just push the drawbar around. I thought oh, this will only take five minutes. Yeah. Can I shunt that over or am I going to lose my load if I do that? No, let's just... Because already... Why doesn't stuff stay on there? Right, that's on. This one...
Oh. Right, that's a bit better. Right, let's go and get this job done. I did want to take the Mahindra, but sod it. We can leave that there. And here comes the train. And we have a road train. So let's get this up. Start clearing some trees. Now this truck is 640 horsepower, so I'm expecting you should be able to use it to pull anything you need to. As soon as we get enough trailers, we can hook up with it. But it is struggling up there already. But what I want to put in, as you're coming up here now, you will be able to turn to the right and there'll be a slip road going all the way down into the farm, into the new farm. Whoa, I'm going to lose a load if I hit anyone. Yeah, and the same going down there, so then we don't have to go on this detour. Well, I better slow down. And I've already smoothed this road out, so we shouldn't have any trouble. Apart from, you've got to watch this bend down here. But we want to take all these trees out. Trying to stop is pushing us down the hill. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a flu at the moment. It's starting anyway. Right, so this is the area we need to clear right in front of me. So I think we might as well go into a little time lapse and get some clearing done. Just get on the score. I'll get on the Scorpion King and clear out the big trees, and then we'll clear out the smaller ones by hand. So I'll speak to you in a minute.
Righto, that is a lot of that wood cleared out now. So that enables us to be able to build a road up there and take a road up the top there. I've got all these logs to move, but I forgot I needed six meter lengths to go on the back of this truck. So that is going to pick all them up. But I now I want to go into the landscaper because we want to see what land we got here now. Now we've cleared a lot of it out. There's still a few trees to go. That's why I want to go into the landscaper. And when you do the smoothing, it actually takes all the shrubs and everything else out. So this is the land we've got. Let's change the brush size. And I just want to get rid of all the shrubs. Just so we can see what the land is like. You can't really, oh, you've got to be careful with your grass or anything else. It will disappear if you do, if you put this square on the top. Obviously we've got a couple of trees to move there but now you can see it's an, we've, we're getting a nice open area now I want to take that tree out there as well and then a lot of this we can use to store our equipment we will put a couple of sheds in we will have to level it out but I wanted to bring the level right the way out because I don't think we'll be able to no we won't be able to do it from there and then we can put another well I am going to add the ground over this way now this is going to cost some money but it, it's got to be done or we could just get rid of the sheep and drop them down a little bit because even if we dropped them to there then the next one it's only going to be you know across to there it'll only be a little hump it might be worth doing that I think because if we go level there now you can see it's cutting in quite a way and ideally we want these at the same because otherwise you've just got this massive step Yeah, and it won't let me do anything until I get rid of that. But it is surprising how much of an area we got here now. Especially when this land can also be leveled out. We can just smooth it all down. Some of this we might be able to... No. Yeah, we can drop it down a bit there. We don't want to do that there though. But I mean, just smooth it all out. So it has got the potential, especially down at this end as well. Take all these trees out and the advantage of using this bit of land is this bit of land, we're not going to put any fields. We're not going to use it for any crops or anything. It's not going to be a field. It's just going to end up being grass. Grass and farmyard. But yeah, you get the general idea. Smooth that over. That one I messed up earlier. Yeah, so we can bring that. It's probably better to bring that land up. And then when we come over to this side, we're going to have a bank. But we need to do it in order to have us a nice flat working platform. Now this will probably cost a little bit of money now. But it's not that bad. Look at the area we got. I know I'm cutting into this field now, but that was the whole idea of it. Was to use this field because it's such a small field. We may as well put some put our farm here. 
and going over this way as soon as those trees are cleared out that's nearly level with that ground over there so that will be another entrance here coming into the farm a bit of smoothing out here and there it will be fine and also get rid of all those trees so there is there will be like a cliff edge all the way around but look at the huge area we're managing to get what we're going to gain i think a lot of these is because of that stump and a few other things in the way but I was just shocked on how big an area that is now. Plenty of room to put our farm. I just need to improve the access roads. I want to put a road in there and hopefully we can just drop that. We can put that down there. One through there and then one going up this way to that bit. Just make it a little bit easier to actually get down to the farm. clear out those shrubs so you can just see so much more what's going on that tree I thought we probably don't need to move that one and hopefully that road had just come in just before where that anten antenna is I'm not sure if it's going to let me oh it will let me drop down in the ground there that's what I wanted yeah it will in places and then it won't other places I think I'll just have to it's just playing around with it you can see that is actually coming down now and now it won't let me go on to the next bit. Oh, it will. But yeah, doing slopes does take some time. Especially smoothing it all out, right, getting it spot on. But you see you know it can be done we can cut a road in there and that will come down there sweep down to the farm so we don't have to go up round this s bend but that cost a couple of hundred grand to put that that in Oh, it's on a different level now. It's what you got to watch. That's the level we want. That one there. Seems those trees out the way though. That's a uh, that's massive area. Right out. So we can start putting the farm in. Whoa, very, very soon. And down at ground level now. It's crazy what it looks like now. You can just see all the way through. It's great. Love it. Right, well, I'm going to carry on trimming these trunks off, getting rid of those, and I'm going to get rid of those next couple of trees. And then at the start of the next episode, we can actually put a grid down and start putting... Um, I'm going to probably put another sheep just there. 
pays to have two bins we're next to the spinnery it might even be better to put it over this area here but it means I'll have to move this grass first because we could bring this level bring it in level across here but that's the beauty about having this landscaper every farm is going to be slightly different no farm is going to be exactly the same so there you go okay well I hope you enjoyed the episode we're finally getting to the point we're gonna have a farm very very soon and then we can start getting a load of crops in because until the farm sorted out when we're not gonna get any more crops yet we need the farm sorted to sort these roads these access roads jobs are good in. all right don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more content then hit that subscribe button thanks for watching till the next time Goodbye.